welcome back friends uh, in today's video we will try to install one of the desktops that is available in the endeavor os so i have opened this web page this is uh, discovery.endeavor.os.com so this is their forum so in the forum there is instructions how to install the desktop environments next to the your existing ones using the terminal so there are separate instructions with the terminal commands for the different desktops so this is the uh, terminal command for the gnome so sudo pacman uh, space dash capital s gnome will install the minimal gnome desktop if you want the full uh, gnome desktop with the gnome extra so you have to add the gnome dash extra uh, package bundle next to the gnome bundle gnome minimal bundle so like that you have to build up the desktop you want so you might uh, be in any of the desktop if you want a new desktop you have to use this uh, terminal commands so in the last video we had installed the endeavor os using the offline mode so in the offline mode the desktop is installed from the iso itself there is only one desktop in the iso that is xfc all other desktops either you have to use the terminal mode or you have to uh, use the online mode during the installation from the iso so there are only two ways so since we already installed the xfc desktop using the offline mode we cannot use the iso again so we will have to use the terminal so friends uh, gnome xfc kde budgie everything you have covered but we are never done the deep in desktop so today we will try to install the deep in desktop using the terminal command so you have to copy this command then uh, open the virtual machine so virtual machine is already booted up i have done it before the, i started the video you close this uh, welcome screen or you can uh, minimize it open the console paste the terminal command it will ask for the sudo password enter your sudo password so it is showing that there are 34 members in the group dpin so it is a collection of bundles or members each member is a bundle having uh, the related uh, packages with the interdependencies so enter a selection so you have to enter the number that you want to install so if you enter the number one it will install the dpin account faces bundle dip in anything dip in api dip in calendar so if you don't install uh, enter anything i think it will uh, by default install everything so what we can do is we can install everything but uh, if you are advanced user and you want to do only minimal install then you have to is uh, choose the small number of packages as per your requirement then it will be minimal install as per your requirement so it offers a lot of granular control for the installation to the user so here deep in windows manager will, uh, is also available deep in wayland is there doc parser start dd is there deep in turbo is there so what all everything is there we will check when we uh, do a review of the deep in desktop in the next video so let us uh, just enter so that will uh, activate the default uh, all selection so now it is showing the selection of uh, 21 members in the group dp in extra so you may or you may not install this so if you just uh, install the first group that is dp in it will be i think uh, minimal or the standard uh, installation of dp in and the dp in extra will be the full uh, when you add the dpin extra to the dpin it will be a full installation of dpin desktop so uh, we will select the default that is all the packages of the group dpin extra along with the all packages of the group dpin so that will be a full installation of the dpin desktop so let us uh, input enter so now there are uh, there is some uh, dependency to be resolved so there are two providers available for dpin anything module so dpin anything arch and dpin anything dkms so now 
there is some further uh, dependencies to be resolved so there are two providers available for the org uh, free desktop dot secrets so that is the repository extra genome keying and the keep a uh, keep assxc so let us go with the genome keying but i think that will again pull up the genome desktop also so let us go with the second option so that will not uh, pull the genome uh, keying and the genome dependencies along with the genome keying so let us go with the second one so now it is showing some warnings for example uh, warning remove clutter from the target list because it conflicts with the dpn clutter remove uh, cogl from the target list which conflicts with the dpn cogl okay session ui will be installed before dpn control center dependency dependency cycle detected so these are only warnings so what will happen is uh, installation will uh, continue and will be done but then you might have issues when you boot into the desktop so here now some there are some uh, insufficient columns available for the table display okay so that is i think related to the terminal so with just warnings it is okay we will uh, be able to install the desktop with all the our selections done and uh, later on maybe there will be some issue but we will see later on so we will continue with the installation let me again just you have to be very careful with the warnings uh, you cannot take any warning lightly because in the next uh, is, uh, next time there might be issue okay so anyways i think there will be no issue i think only the first warning is might be issue because clutter uh, removing clutter from the target where was the clutter can you check out here can you see the clutter here dp in anything control center there must be somewhere here clutter should be there clutter clutter no it is not there it, it must be some sub package one of the package is one of this these are only the group names group and uh, member names so it might be a uh, member of some of this uh, bigger member so it might be a sub member i mean to say okay anyways we will go ahead i think there won't be won't be much issue because there are warnings only so now the installation has started it is downloading the 193 packages that were selected so total download size will be around 563.4 mb and install size will be uh, 1769.53 mb so it will take around uh, i think uh, around 20 25 minutes for the download and installation so we will wait for the download and installation to complete then in the next video uh, we will do the review of the dpn desktop so we will end the video here when the installation completes so let us check out the progress still only seven packages have been downloaded
there is some error let us check out what error has caused okay so the popular qt file you know, package uh, they could not retrieve it from the mirror so it continued to fail many times okay so now what we can do is we can do a update so type a so that will update the package with error and rectify the mistake you can see how much big is this uh, repo 6.7 uh, mb of community repo so there are lot of packages available for the user so now you can see the uh, there was issue with this popular qt5 22.06 package it could not be downloaded but with the ea command that is the update command we can reinstall it so it is in selected here you can see the popular 22.06.0 package which was earlier creating problem can uh, is selected again and you have to just update it so that will solve the issue now it is getting downloaded in the update so i think all the packages are now downloaded there is no issue i think yes so issue is resolved and with that uh, we have completed the installation of dpin desktop uh, full dpin desktop with the dpin extras and dpin uh, minimal packages we will stop the video here in the next video we will do a detailed review of the dpin desktop